Today we are creating a realistic mirror material in 3D Max and uh, Eri. My scene is uh, already set up. Got uh, various IES lights lighting up the interior scene. To the outside exterior environment, we have the various sun and sky already set up. Uh, camera settings standard for interior environments film speed 100, f number 8, and shutter speed 50. White balance neutral. That's pretty much it. Our mirror is a simple plane thickness. So let's create a material for it. Material editor. Mirror material. Diffuse black. Click on reflection. Drag it down to two five five. And then check Fresnel reflections. Let's begin interactive rendering. So that's the simplest, most basic way of creating a mirror. So another option would be to consider carefully the properties of an actual mirror in relation to the environment that it has been placed in. It may have some set of reference images to give us a deep understanding of this. Look at how different this color looks from the one on the wall here there's a there's a lot more green this looks darker the reflected colors look more richer so to speak so basically when creating a mirror material you don't necessarily want to have it perfectly reflected. This we can achieve by changing the reflection color either bluish or greenish. Ideally choose what color you want to match and go for it depending on the reference material that you are using best option is to ask ourselves how mirrors are made. Mirrors are made by coating a, a glass surface with a thin layer of metal. The most common metals used for this purpose are silver. So now material editor create a glass material. Diffuse black reflection between 143 and 145 A refraction nearly white assign the material to our object
duplicate the same object and delete the surfaces except the front. This will act as our thin layer of metal behind our glass. So we try to place it correctly. Let's, let's render to see the result. So uh, simply put, the choice is, is yours really on what you want to achieve with your render. The difference may look small, but to a keen eye, it, it makes a whole lot of difference. In today's video, we've learned different options of how to create a photorealistic mirror in 3D Max and Viri. Uh, As always, please thumbs up the video, it really helps. Do subscribe and let me know in the comments section if you have any questions or suggestions or which areas you need clarification.